what is it like to live in Burlington, Vermont? Why some might think it is the capital of the state. What you can expect to walk away from this video. What makes it Vermont's queen city and some quick real estate facts. An understanding of Burlington's neighborhood layout. What does ONE stand for? Where locals love to drink and dine, including favorites and how many breweries there are. And best places to enjoy Lake Champlain and where to find a magical treehouse. Let's get started. Why is Burlington called the Queen City? I mean, where else can you get art, theater, food, great beer, and a lake all in one place? Hence, why it is the most populated city in Vermont with just over 44,000 people, making up over 17,000 households. The median household income of residents is 64,000. Average rent estimate lately has been between 2,000 and 2,400 for a two bedroom. Average median sales price for single family at the end of 2023 was 632,000 and for a condo townhome, 340,000. For more information, you can go to these websites. Church Street Marketplace here today is a pedestrian only shopping and dining area is the heart of it all. There are countless festivals throughout the year, including Jazz Fest, Festival of Fools, Pride Parade, Tree Lighting, and Carols. The city is home to the University of Vermont, Champlain College, contributing to the youthful atmosphere and offering educational and cultural opportunities for residents. Some of the more iconic restaurants include Skinny Pancake for its yummy crepes, Lunings for a taste of Perry, Shanty on the Shore with fresh seafood, and Single Pebble Authentic Chinese. Other notable local spots are Mayday, Halverson's, Nectar's, Grey J, Ken's Pizza, Henry's Diner. Breweries including Foam Brewers, Switchback Brewery, Zero Gravity, Vermont Pub and Brewery, Burlington Beer Company, Simple Roots Brewing, and Queen City Brewery. Let's move on to the neighborhoods that make up this city. I will break it down into six sections. New North End. New North End was created in the 1950s as a result of urban sprawl. Situated off North Ave, you will find a more densely populated mix of single family homes, including ranch, raised ranch, and Cape styles. There are also a mix of condo and town homes, some specifically designed for Lakeview access living, and for those lucky few, some gorgeous Lake Champlain homes. The highlights of this area are the Burlington bike path running along the lake, as well as North Beach and Letty Park. Old North End, also known as ONE, is the city's oldest neighborhood. It's a vibrant community with art murals celebrating diversity and history. The real estate you will find here is a mix of older farmhouse styles, Victorians, capes, and up to four unit multifamilies. A must see here is Battery Street Park overlooking Burlington's waterfront. With its large green space and music pavilion, it is an attraction for locals and visitors alike. Next, Burlington's downtown living. This is a mix of multifamilies, apartments, and some high-rise townhomes. Other characteristics are local music and art scene with venues like Nectar's and the Flynn Performing Arts Center. Next, we have the university section, which is filled with older single-family homes, many Victorian in style, as well as some multifamilies. This housing is a draw for those who work at UVM and the Med Center, which is the defining setting for this section of town. Burlington's Hill section is comprised of larger estate homes that bring character and grandness to its owners. These grand features, larger square feet, and lots up to one acre are a draw for people who want to live close to the hustle but have some room to enjoy the property. And finally, we have the oh-so-sweet South End. Think bungalows and smaller trendy style homes with quaint backyards and small tighter lots. Also a part of this community, you'll find townhome developments and several duplex and multi-style buildings. Popular sections with this area are the Five Sisters and Lakeside neighborhoods. South End is famous for events like Art Hop, bringing together artists woven through the shops of Pine Street. Also hosting South End, get down food trucks each Friday. And this wouldn't be complete without sharing the best places to enjoy Lake Champlain. The beaches, including Letty Beach featuring an ice arena and North Beach, a long stretch of sand with views of the waterfront. The Burlington Bike Path, 7.6 miles of breathtaking views and serene nature setting. Recently updated to host several places along the path for energy enthusiasts to stop for some additional motivation. The Overlook at Battery Park, grab a snack at the iconic Beansy's bus, swing and sit on the rock wall to view the waterfront panoramic. Directly on the waterfront, take a tour on the Spirit of Ethan Allen, visit Splash at the Boathouse or the Echo Science Center, walk along the waterfront and sit on a bench swing. 
Oakledge Cove Park, and the Forever Young Treehouse, which is great for family picnics and reunions with a large pavilion. Public schools in the Burlington School District are Champlain Elementary, C.P. Smith Elementary, J.J. Flynn Elementary, Edmonds Elementary, and Middle School, Hunt Middle School, Burlington High School, Burlington Tech Center, as well as various alternative programs. For private schools, there are Mother Christi and Christ the King for grades K through 8. For 9th through 12th grade, there is Rock Point Academy, an independent day and boarding school located on the shores of Lake Champlain. Grocery shopping options range from small farmer's markets at City Hall Park to co-ops like City Market to larger chains like Hannaford and Shaw's Supermarkets. Two major bus lines, the Greyhound and Green Mountain Transit, are located in Burlington as well as Union Train Station on Main Street. As one of the more populated areas in Vermont, there are plenty of cabs and Ubers available as well. Other popular modes of transport are by bicycle, with many roadways in Burlington having dedicated bike lanes. As we wrap up, I'd like to ask, what intrigues you most about this town? The farm-to-table restaurants, shopping, exploring the art scene, or enjoying a sunset by the lake? Let us know in the comments below. If you are in love with what I've shared, you'll have to check out my next video on the Burlington neighborhoods. We will dive even deeper on what makes each of them unique. Thanks so much for watching. If you are curious about anything related to making your home in this area, from real estate tips to community events, feel free to reach out.